microgreens are something that have not been available to the general consumer very much. In fact, if you wanted to try them, you usually had to go to a high-end restaurant, which most of us don't do very often. So it's nice that we're learning more and more about how to grow them ourselves so we can experience some of these things. But because they're uh, vegetables or produce that we haven't experienced much, we also don't really know how to use them very well. So I'm going to give you a few ideas. First of all, remember that any time you use produce out of your garden, or from the supermarket for that matter, you need to make sure you wash it well. So after you give it a shave, uh, collect them all, take them in, rinse them off well in clean running water, uh, let them drain, and then dry them. You can do this in several paper towels. I don't know if they're going to do very well in a uh, salad spinner because they're so small. Now let's look at what we've got here. I've got several varieties that I've mixed together, and as I said, I'm just going to show you some different ways that they can be used. Uh, one is that you can use them as a garnish, which is the way they're most often used when you go to those high-end restaurants, so I've been told. Uh, and, and that we've got some soup here. We're just going to sprinkle some on. Now, if you were doing this, this isn't something you'd do ahead. This is something you'd do either at the last minute, just as they were being served, or what I would suggest is that you put the bowl of microgreens on the table with the soup and let guests do their own. They have a, a much more intense flavor than a larger green would, uh, and as a result, the, the flavors are stronger. So you might actually want to ask them to nibble on a couple of them. I've got several varieties mixed here, and you may too, uh, but if you just have one or two, then have them take a few tastes so they know how much they might want to put on. Some of them are peppery, some of them are a little sweeter. Just a good thing to know as you're approaching it. Another thing you can do with them is use them as a salad themselves, or you could mix them in with some other greens. Here I've got some citrus on the bottom, some microgreens on top, and then just a little bit of a vinaigrette that you put over the top. And again, because they have a lot of flavor, and we've got the, the acid in the uh, orange that I've got underneath, we're not going to need a lot of vinaigrette. Uh, but it, it's uh, just another way to blend those flavors to enhance things. A couple other things I've got here. Uh, one is a sandwich. Now we're all familiar with putting lettuce of one variety or of another on top of a sandwich, but microgreens can do this too. The thing that you want to remember is because they're intensely flavored, you may not need as much. It may look like you're being skimpy with your greens, uh, but you'll get a lot of flavor out of a few. You also get a lot of nutrition out of a few as well, so that while it may look like, well, I'm shortchanging someone on vitamin C or vitamin A, in fact, you're giving them a lot of flavor because of the intensity of the taste there. They also look really pretty. As you saw, they have, some of them have red stems, some of them have green, they have dark colors and light colors, uh, and simply doing this much can really make uh, that sandwich look really, really impressive and, and attractive and, and inviting. The last one I've got is one of my favorites, and you can do this with uh, all kinds of things, but I'm just going to put some microgreens on top of a pizza. Now again, this is one of those things that you're going to want to let people do at the last minute so that they can get the amount that they want on there, uh, but it really perks it up. It's not as quite as much greens as you would do if you were actually putting a salad on top, but it adds a lot of that nutrition, a lot of that texture, uh, a lot of bite to it. Uh, and it's something they're not going to get at their local pizza place. And if you're using a frozen pizza, this is a really great way to, to perk that up and make it more inviting and add a lot more nutrition to it, which a lot of times we have trouble getting some of those green things in on some of those pizzas that we make. You can do something very similar with a box of macaroni and cheese, and having kids put a little bit on their own may entice them to eat some of these things that they might not otherwise get down. I hope you'll give this a try. Microgreens are lots of fun, there's lots of flavor, and there's lots of nutrition. For Oklahoma Gardening, I'm Barbara Brown. <music>